Loneliness is your first enemy to slay. It's the boss of the first quest, one of the most important quests in the life. Because the reward is extremely vital to continue this journey as a stronger and brighter spirit. Many people ignore this loneliness quest because systems don't teach us to clear this stage and it hasn't been told to be conquerable. Many of them prioritize conquering other values over this one. Ambitions, money, desires, fame and such things. And these are kind of what systems encourage people to chase. It's not a bad thing but there is something more important to focus to be a balanced spirit. With strong passion and persistent works can achieve success, and this success can bring you wealth, fame and pleasures. But if you haven't slayed your loneliness, you can never fulfill the void in your heart. And this is why many successful people make mistakes and mentally collapsed, simply because they never have conquered their own loneliness. I think the rewards are special when you conquer this loneliness quest. You'll be a stronger spirit than before and it guides you to one step closer to the wisdom and peace. These are not physically or materially visible rewards, but you will feel the difference and elevation in yourself. When you accomplish this quest, many things in life will become simpler. Because when you don't have loneliness, you don't need much. No needs of friends, lover or any social relationships, because you are fulfilled with your own self. You don't need alcohol, party, drugs, cigarettes, any tiny things that could ease your emptiness instantly. When you have no void inside you, you can live as extreme hermit with no problems, but it's not necessary. There are many different kinds of people with diverse roles and characters, and that makes the world go round. And even when you conquer your loneliness, there are more lessons to be found with others. And this was what I was mistaken at first. I thought I had to train in extreme hermit lifestyle in order to reach higher wisdoms and stronger spirit. It could be ironic that you'll be more balanced with any relationships you can have when you do not need anybody, better friendships and any companionships. You can also love properly, be a better parent. These are because you don't need to expect anything from others. You do not have void inside you to fulfill from elsewhere. Even if you only give in relationships, you wouldn't feel needs of receiving any emotional fulfillment when you don't have loneliness. So how exactly should we slay our loneliness? It could be depend on personalities and characteristics, but here are some fundamentals that I think help a lot to clear this quest. You need to be comfortable being alone first. If you feel uncomfortable being alone, that means your spirit your energy, whatever you prefer to call it, is weak. Regardless of your age, status in the society, if you're famous or anonymous, physically strong or weak, rich or poor, if you feel lonely being alone, your spirit, your energy, your aura is weak and immature. Start with doing things you can enjoy. Sports, reading, gaming, watching anime films, making crafts, learning skills, and find one if you haven't found one yet. There are various types of interests in the world and there should be at least one that will interest you. Next step is to realize that the void in your heart can never be fulfilled with outer things. Love, friend, party, alcohol, success, money, drugs, fame, and none of those things can slay your loneliness. They might make you feel fulfilled for a short time, 
but they can never solve the core of your emptiness. Bigger the gap between your loneliness and your escape is, your loneliness will become deeper and darker. This is a quest you have to clear only by yourself. No teammates, no clan, and no luck. No one can do it for you. Even gods may guide you, but you have to do it by yourself. Once you learn to be comfortable being alone doing your hobbies, and realize you have to save yourself, rest of the works may sound simple, but not easy to accomplish. Because this is not an easy quest. Probably your hardest one, because most of the people die without conquering this quest. Your goal is to become someone who doesn't need to depend on anything emotionally. Once you're good being alone doing things you can enjoy, try being comfortable without them. Just being with yourself, with no one, nothing, just you and yourself. And when you become comfortable in that state, you've slain your loneliness. In case I didn't intend to slay my loneliness, but it kinda happened naturally. I had questions in my mind I had to solve, so I started to live as hermit at 23, trying to find answers for the questions, and I put myself in total isolation in wilderness in the mountains for about 6 months. And during the process my loneliness was slain. Few things to be careful when you have slain and conquered the loneliness quest. This enemy will crawl back to you whenever they see you being careless. When you defeat the loneliness, doesn't mean you conquer them forever. But once you defeated them, now you know how to defeat them again. It'll be easier than the first time. Keep it in control. Another thing to be careful is your arrogance. This is a foolish mistake I also made. You can easily be arrogant when you feel yourself a stronger spirit than before. But this is one of the biggest traps that will drag you to the dark side again. You should keep facing the light. Guide and have someone who haven't cleared the quest yet. Someone who was in your position, my position, and let them help others as well. I truly wish this was helpful for you to become brighter and stronger spirit. Keep smiling.